guys. Thought I'd bring you something a little different today. We are going to make Christmas ornaments. Um, what you will need is a plastic ornament ball, clear, a clay pot, some pom-poms, some uh, red paint, paintbrush, and a pop top, a glue stick or hot glue, and I have a paintbrush and a little paint bowl here. So we're going to start with our clay pot. I am going to come in here with my red glue, I mean, <laughs> my red paint. Shouldn't need too much. Ooh, definitely don't need that much. <clears throat> but what we are going to do is we're going to paint this clay pot first so it can get to drying. Just put a good coat of paint. You don't have to worry about the inside unless you want to. I don't usually. Just make sure it's, I didn't want the clay, I wanted it red. It's Christmas, so we want a red color. While you're doing this, that uh, heat gun can be heating up. Make sure you put a piece of paper or something underneath it to catch the uh, dripping glue. This project is fun for little kids, adults. Every year I like to make some sort of ornament for my family so they can put it on their tree. I think everybody got this one last year. Just make sure all that clay is good and covered. It'll dry quick. I am not a painter. But this shouldn't take an expert to do, so. Make sure you got that rim good and covered. Since this is clay, it's going to dry pretty quick. See, it's already dry over here. Okay. And then you don't have to get the inside. You can if you want. I'm not going to. I'm just going to set that aside and let it dry. And this project, like I said, is really good for kids. Get your daughter, son, grandchild out and just help them. The only part you really have to be concerned about is the hot glue. So adults make sure to help them out with that. But we are going to put some pom-poms in here. And you guess it. It's going to be like a um, gumball. It's going to be a gumball ornament. Let's see if we can't get some more brighter colors in here. Oops, got one. One got away from me. And you don't have to completely fill it up. What? 
get a good bit in there. <laughs> Boy, these things don't want to cooperate with me today. I think we're about as full as I want to get it. I said you can fill it up if you want. I just like to. There we go. We're going to do it that way. Well, maybe two more. Okay. Put these other ones back in here. And we are going to take this and put it back on. But first of all, I think I want to run some hot glue around the edge because it's going to be hanging and this clay pot's a little bit heavy. So I think I'm going to run a glue of a bead of hot glue around the edge. Just kind of spread it out. That should be good. And I'll squeeze those little guys in together. You know what? I have found if you pull this out a little bit, just a little bit, not all the way, or I'll put it back in, hopefully before our glue dries. I'll just pull it out a little bit. Like I said, not all the way, just a little. Place your cap back on, push it back down. And now we're gonna squeeze that to the hot glue. Get it good and squeezed in there. There we go. And now what we're going to do, our clay pot is, is dry. So we're gonna take the hot glue and we're going to put a good dab of it right here in the middle. And then we are going to put it right in the center and we're going to give it a good press. That's coming out really cute. So I decided to change things up a little bit. Instead of using the Sharpie and a pull tab and hot glue, which is not kid friendly. Um, we're going to come in here with some Barely Art glue and some buttons. Both of these items can be found at the Making Memory Store in Siren. So what I thought that we could do is instead of using this, it's it's kind of cute, but I thought by coming in here and putting a couple buttons on here, that would be even cuter. I like it better that way, I think. All right, so we're going to use that Barely Art glue. <clears throat> I want to put some... Oops. I want to put some just around the edge here. And 
we're gonna put it right there. That'll squeeze some out. And we're gonna let that sit there for a minute. We're gonna put a little extra in here. And then we are going to sit this one in the middle. And that barely art glue should dry clear. And so we're just gonna hold it there for a minute. Barely art precision craft glue, non-toxic, dries clear. For scrapbook, paper, artwork, decorations, crafts, and glitter. It's an all over good purpose glue, but it's gonna take a minute for that middle one to set in here. So you can see that that is gonna be the cutest little ornament ever. The green one's dry. The red one's going to take a minute. <clears throat> so to recap, I took a clay pot, painted it red. I took a clear plastic ornament, filled it with um, pom-poms. You can get those at your local craft store, at Hobby Lobby. I got these at Hobby Lobby. It says two, uh, $1.99, but I got it off. Uh, they had a sale for 50% off. So I put those pom-poms inside the ornament and then put the top on. I um, did some hot glue around there because you're going to hang it on the tree, right? So you don't want that to pop off because this is pretty heavy. But there you have our Christmas ornament. And when that glue dries, it will dry clear. But that is just super, super cute. Can't you just see hanging that on your tree? I hope you guys enjoyed my tutorial. I will have more um, Christmas ornaments coming up. More using the precision glue and the buttons that were provided to me by Making Memory Store and Siren. If you like this tutorial, please give me a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed, please do so and hit that little bell so you'll know when I'm on. Um, everybody have a wonderful night and as always, be kind. <laughs>